Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I wanted to talk about how you acquire wealth. Now, I've, I've had my company for a while now, and this is a journey which I'm going on myself. It's, uh, I think it's interesting. Like, I've always had this dream of being free, you know? So today, what I wanted to do in this video is I just wanted to do a reaction to Sneeko's video where he spent, I think it was a week with a millionaire and then they're just like talking about like certain things which you should think about when you're a millionaire. While I was being a good citizen alone in my apartment to getting booster shots, all the rich people were here? Yep, every single rich, and well not every single rich, but the rich uh, do not live by the, or play by the same rules that poor people do. I, but they tell you one thing, you know, they tell you, just follow your passion while they get rich. Come, let, let me show you. What we found out, what was going in there, is unbelievable. Why do you think the rich are so secret? Because they want to stay rich. They bring in a, a child and they set it a fire. You know, they'll kill their neighbor for a can of green beans. Right. Go to Bohemia Grove, try to get in, see what they say. But I was stopping the spread. I was a good boy. I did what the government told me to do. When I was younger, all my parents and everybody around me used to tell me like, you have to follow the rules in order to become successful in your life. And as I grew, I started noticing like the people which broke all of the rules are actually the people which were successful. So it's actually very funny that everyone has been like teaching or preaching a certain mentality and it's actually the opposite. A year and a half ago, two years ago, you know, the millionaires used to live here and now they've been kind of displaced by billionaires. This is where the billionaires go, they pay 0% tax. They don't pay for shit, right? Like 0%. Wait, but I pay taxes, I'm a good citizen. Yeah, 51%. 51%. But they tell me if you pay taxes, you're, you're you're a good member of society. Of course, you gotta you gotta suffer like everybody else. This is how they suffer. Can I ask you how much this costs? Yeah, I just paid 685. To give you an idea of price, 550,000. Jesus. I would love to hold yeah. half a million dollars. I mean, are you guys rich? I mean, what do you define as rich? The price of this one is 849,500. Is there ever enough money? Here we go. No. <laughs> You, you really, really have to start making those like small decisions and start thinking of like, what kind of life do you want to live? I mean, like, it's nice having the house and, you know, having the car, but I mean, you must, you must have bigger ambitions than that. Like me, I've always had big ambitions. I have never been like a person which is just like settles for whatever society gives me. Wait, so you're telling me that the people with the most amount of money don't pay any taxes, but all the wage slaves pay taxes and think that they need to contribute to something? Of course. And then, you know, they tell you to stay in your house while they go to this, because this is their house. Eat $500 steaks, do whatever the fuck they want. They don't play by the same rules that you do. That's why you gotta learn the rules of the game. You're offending me, I think you're just wrong. This is hurting my feelings. I mean, just turn around. Shit. Like people which usually comment on the internet, like they don't even show the profile pictures, they come with like these comments. And the crazy part with everybody nowadays is like, everyone is an expert, you know? You can't tell anybody anything. And even though a guy were, were to come out with a video like this and try to explain it to you guys, or to, mo not you guys, but you, you guys understand what I mean. And to try to explain it to the public. People are not really going to listen to him or they're not even going to want to understand the message. Who are these people? Anybody of any significant is even movie stars. They control the media. They control 95% of the media. It's what you call the new world order. Right. They're setting up a new world order. You are the cattle out there. You know, you are the slaves. They want enough people to to live on this earth just to be able to serve them. Yeah, you can quarantine. You can either quarantine in a, a two by five room or you can quarantine with the top G's. Like, look at this shit, bro. It's fucking paradise. People think that this is a vacation. Bro, you either do vacation or you live in a vacation. People take two weeks off thinking that that's I want to go on a cruise. I want to go on a cruise, be in the little pool piss. In the little pool piss with the little two year olds. But what about the buffet, the all you can eat buffet are going on a cruise? Mm. Tasty. <laughs> I like that he's being so sarcastic. Hey, the cruise. What do you have against like the cruise? The cruise is actually nice. I like cruises. Like, there's nothing wrong with going on like a cruise and and eating at the buffet. You can, they, you can, you have the all you can eat buffet. So I like, I like being on the cruise. Actually, it's my dream to be honest is just to be on a beach somewhere and just work from my computer. That's what I want to do in the future. And if I can get there as quickly as possible, that would be, that would be just perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna go there for two weeks. I forgot my mask in the car, can we all go back? 
I need one too, double masked up. There was not a single mask being worn here for the last two years. The richest people weren't wearing masks? But I thought rich people were smart. Why were smart people not staying safe? They were. That's the problem. They were staying safe from the peasants. Somebody said wearing masks was good. Okay. So we started wearing masks and then after that it's like, oh no, it really doesn't affect if you wear a mask or not. So they don't even really know what they're talking about. It's almost like they're just trying certain things to see if we are gullible enough to do it. Because the peasants are the real infection to them. That's why they're trying to subjugate and condemn the entire world. Shit. Smoke a couple cigars, have a good time, get a couple of cocktails. Cocktails and cigars sound better than double mask and a booster shot. I mean, depends. If you have blue hair and you're a lesbian, maybe not. <laughs> nah, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go back to New York and be trans. Have fun in El Dorado. Gracias, Naomi. Gracias, Naomi. One thing I learned here from Luke is to think about anything you put on your body. The sunscreen, the cigarettes you smoke, the food you eat, the water you drink, the tap water that's in your city. Think about it. Was it made out of love? Was it made with care? Or was it made to profit off of you? I mean, the crazy part is like, I was even thinking about it when I was in Namibia right now. You can't even drink the tap water there because it's like really, really bad. Because it's like places like that, even like in Africa, it's just, it's very hard for people there to even get themselves out of that situation because they fucked the system up so bad. So it's extremely difficult. Now I want to go there and I want to start a company and help out like a lot of like, a lot of kids, I want to help some kids and I want to help, you know, people in my age also, you know, so we build something together. But without the information, it's very difficult. The information and the funding, of course, is very difficult. So I'm saying like, of course, these guys have, they have always their agenda and they're always going to try to implement it because the thing is like, to be honest, the rich want to keep you poor. You know, when they talk about, they talk about the elite, the elite. Do you ever see the elite? They're not elite. You're the elite. Mike Bloomberg owns more wealth than the bottom 125 million Americans. The single biggest lie in, in, in politics is the lie that Republicans are the party of the rich. While this type of rhetoric is good for getting reelected, the power brokers of our governments don't seem to be in much of a hurry, despite the pleas from the struggling masses and the possible repercussions of economic civil unrest. But if the wheels of civilization really started to fall off, would the rich even notice? Maybe not because they may already be living underground. Okay. That's that's like their thing because the poorer you are, the more you're going to your nine to five and just taking whatever you can get, the, the less time you have to think and actually try to build for yourself. Can I ask you how much this costs? Yeah, I just paid um, 685, but 600. these cars can go up to a million. Well, Max claims these luxury goods are investments. In actuality, it doesn't seem like that. What happened in the, we were driving yesterday in your Lambo. Yeah. What happened in your Lambo last night? Just a little uh, incident. Um, we saw some puddles that looked tempting, so I decided to try to like book it through them, and uh, I guess that didn't work out too well. Oh, are you worried about, you know, the whole thing of these is their investment resale yeah, value? Exactly. Are you worried about the Carfax report? No, nah, I don't even know if like something like that would show up, but the Eurus honestly, I'll probably never sell. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, That's it's great. one of those cars that I'm going to keep probably forever, so. What about this one? Is this, is this an investment? I'm going to keep this one forever, too. I love this car. Oh, my God. Unless <laughs> they come out with another crazier SVJ in the future. Uh, this one's a keeper for sure. If it was sold in Walmart, think about it. If it was in, sold in Target, if you're eating it from McDonald's, think about it. This is literally one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in. The sand here feels fake. I thought it was imported, it's not. It's just the softest sand, the bluest water, the hottest women. It, none of it makes sense. You know what I had in common here? All the billionaires and all the millionaires stayed here while you quarantine. And it's uncomfortable when you think about it. You can go in the comment section and get mad, but this is the truth. Major talks given by world figures, not just national. Those are talks that you and I have the right to be exposed to because they come from people that affect our lives. We have a right to know what they're saying. I don't care if they get up there and dance naked, you know, I mean, fine. It's the effect that they're having on the rest of us that is what we've been concerned with from the beginning. Why do you think the rich are so secret? Because they want to stay rich. It's all about staying rich and keeping power. And anybody rich will tell you the same thing. You're arguing with a lot of peasants on the internet. 
People who are leaving hate comments with no followers, having no profile pictures, you shouldn't listen to them. You know who you should listen to? People who are happier, who are richer, and in better places than you. That's what I'm trying to do. You're gonna see it happen. You're gonna see the shift turn within a year. I'm gonna become a multi-millionaire. You're gonna see me become one of the richest YouTubers out there. Or maybe not even the richest, but I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna be a wealthy person in a year. Right now I'm broke. I'm paying off my student loans, but I have a, a rich mindset now. And I'm trying to share it with you. I'm, I'm not trying to flex on you. I don't, I don't care about that. I'm trying to share that you need a, the correct mindset to become rich. This whole thing with the pandemic, there's a hidden agenda there. If you guys can't see that, there's nothing more that I can say, you know, like there's a, definitely a hidden agenda there. So I think you should always, you know, be cautious when it comes to social media. There's always some kind of like idea or some kind of programming which people are trying to put into you. So that's a video from the Yambo Davidson channel. If you guys like this video, like it. If you guys have any comments or have any ideas of what other videos that I can do, leave it in the comment section and I'll read it and reply to you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, peace.